Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at the dogs that were aboard the Titanic. On the 15th of April 1912, the legendary ill-fated ship RMS Titanic sank. It remains, to this day, the most famous disaster in maritime history. There were approximately 2,223 passengers aboard the ship, of which 1,502 perished. Besides humans, a dozen dogs were aboard the ship on its luckless maiden voyage. Only three survived. How were three dogs saved in lifeboats when there wasn't enough room for all the human passengers? The three dogs that survived the Titanic disaster were all extremely small. The dogs were so small it is probable that no one even noticed that they were being carried on board the lifeboats. Two of the dogs were Pomeranians, the third was a Pekingese. One little Pomeranian was named Lady and was bought by Titanic passenger Miss Margaret Hayes in Paris. Lady shared a cabin with Miss Hayes and was wrapped in a blanket and carried onto a lifeboat by her when the order was given to evacuate. The fabulously wealthy family, the Rothschilds, owned the other Pomeranian that survived. The Pekingese was named Sun Yat Sen and was brought on board by the Harper family of the New York publishing firm Harpers and Row. Only first class passengers had dogs aboard. One family even received an insurance payment in the amount of $300, about $7,000 today, for their two dogs that didn't survive the sinking of the ship. Wealthy first-class passenger William Carter was traveling with his wife Lucille and their two children. Their daughter, Lucy's King Charles Spaniel, was insured for $100, and their son Billy's Airedale for $200. The children begged to take the dogs with them when they were evacuating, but Carter insisted they were too big and assured his distraught children that their dogs would be fine in the ship's kennel. He was lying. When the dogs perished, the insurance company made good on their claims. As for the other dogs aboard, those whose names are known include world-famous millionaire John Jacob Astor's Airedale Kitty, a woman named Helen Bishop brought a fox terrier named Dog, how original. Passenger Robert Daniel brought Gamin de Pycombe, his French bulldog. There were several other dogs aboard whose names are not known. Although a few canine passengers shared a cabin with their owners, the majority were kept in the ship's kennel and were cared for by the Titanic's crew members. One particularly sad story involved a Great Dane owned by 50-year-old Elizabeth Isham. Miss Isham visited her dog at the ship's kennel daily. When she was evacuating, she asked to take the dog with her. When she was told that the dog was too large, she refused to leave the ship without him and got out of her lifeboat. Several days later, the body of an elderly woman clutching a large dog was spotted by the recovery ship McKay Bennett. The dinghies were dispatched to round up the bodies of the woman and the animal. Eyewitness accounts and the ship's log confirm the sighting and recovery. The body of the woman recovered is assumed to be that of Miss Isham, though this was not verified by any other means than noting the type of dog and putting the story of her refusal to leave the ship together with the fact that they found a woman's dead body with the dead dog. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, over there on the right are a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thanks for watching.